All right, guys, let's uh, let's get this draft underway. I don't know the format well enough yet. Um, I have been getting kind of crushed on this mill mill deck thing in the format. Played against it quite a few times. I attempted to try it out. I think this lurker is kind of cool with the like reoccurring egg. We can play like things like this, um, like the pack or whatever. I don't know. Someone who played it against me really crushed me with it, so I kind of tempted. It also gets back like well to draw you into more cards. Choose one. Can our target spell with converted man cost less or equal to the number of cards in controller's graveyard? Okay. So this is fine. It just it doesn't do anything early. It's kind of cool. Yeah, this does go in the mill deck. Yeah, this does seem like the best card. This is also, um, you know, an artifact to consider. I mean, not in this pick. I think this is down in the lock is just infinitely better. But Scorching Dragonfire is a really cool card. Good removal spell. But I think we're going to just try and force this. If you guys are here in Twitch chat, feel free to chime in. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on, on the format. And this deck specifically, I kind of, like I said, I kind of want to force it just because I've been playing against it. I've done about four drafts now, and, you know, every time I play against 30-40% mill decks, and they are quite scary, so this is a mill card. This one's really cool, too. I played against this in one of in one of the drafts. I hadn't seen it uh, before then. Create a food token. If you sacrifice it whenever you sacrifice food, so you still get the food ability, right? Okay, one. If you do, you get another permanent. It's really really strong. I want to force this mill deck though. It seems like it's a big deal in this archetype. Here it is. So we're oh no the lucky clover. Okay, so this is the thing the mechanic that gets you right. So we have to take the lucky clover over the. The secret keeper, because we're gonna see more. We're gonna see more of these, ideally, but this is what really makes the deck, right? It also has, like, you know, if we happen to miss, it's gonna trigger on other things as well. Lucky Clover is right where it's at. This is the uncommon we want for this deck. We just gotta hope we see more of those merfolks. Uh, we have Tempting Witch I like. So tiny. This one's kind of cool too. I think this blue land is quite good. It doesn't put it in your hand, so it doesn't gain you card advantage, but it just ensures that you get your, be you know, your best card. And blue-black is gonna have really great removal spells. I think I'm tempted to take the So Tiny first. I haven't played with this land yet, but it's it feels strong to me. So we have like no creatures. I mean, this black creature is not very good. Power equal to the number of artifacts and or enchantments you control. Boldron seems really sick with uh, with Lurker, right? Sack, kill your dude, bring it back, sack, kill your dude. I mean, it's just great advantage. We have one of the, uh, didn't say please, but I think we'll get more of these. We'll see, we'll get more cauldrons too, actually. Eye Collector is still mill. Yeah, I wouldn't mind an Eye Collector as well. I think the upside on these two cards is a little bit better than the Eye Collector. I'm 
gonna take the cauldron. I mean, we're, we're picking it with our one rare, so it's not great, but I'm actually going to take Tempting Witch over the Eye Collector. I think we'll get more Eye Collectors, and I think the Witch is harder to find. And we have no two or three drop creatures. This just kind of helps us stabilize. We need time to kill them, so... I think we take this. We'll get more of the one drop. Oh, look! Is this the wheel pack? Wait. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is our opener pack, where we took this. Nice. So we have one more of these uh, merfolk keepers that we're hoping will wheel. It was like pick three, I think. In a, in a pinch, this could be our top end that we can then bring back. This is also something we can bring back. It's a solid two drop. It's an artifact. Ooh, I think this was the pack that we were supposed to try to get that wheel card out of. No luck though. Like the eye collector. All right, the wheels were, were kind to us. We didn't get the merfolk back, but that's all right. And the eye collector wheel, just like we thought it would. Oh man, kind of sad we're not on this questing beast train. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to just take it and abandon black because we really don't have anything, right? We've got we've got drown, which is like the only real thing keeping us here. And I think questing beast is good enough to like replace drown and, and tempting witch. Interesting. This card's not bad. The well's not bad for our deck. The golden egg's not bad for our deck. I, this is my free-to-play account, uh, Charles, so I don't uh, care about drafting cards to um, or for decks, right? But I think this is just better. This would this would have been a good removal spell, but I also really like the fairy. I think fairy's pretty good because we have. Um, Griffin's great too, isn't it? I'll leave these here just in case. Where are the titties at? Look down, I'm sure you can find some. Sorry for those of you guys watching this on YouTube, Twitch chat. Show mine? I mean, come on. You just saw your mom's not that long ago. Couldn't have been more than a year or two. Fine. What do you guys think? Chat, Sprite, Griffin? Also, you know, if we did, we are kind of kind of switching to green. I don't hate this card. this sprite. We're gonna take this. The drafting process is a lot slower, just given that it's a new format. Plus three less. Seven or more cards in their graveyard. So it's a four mana draw four cards late game? That seems good. I'm not seeing a lot of green or black that I'm really interested in. This is really cool late game. Kinda tempted to take it just because I want to see how well it works. It's four mana. Seems good. In a mill deck? It's gotta be good. 
Uh, run away together is really important. We only have the one Merfolk Secret Keeper. Ooh, well, a second Clover, though, kind of makes the deck. Draw three cards. Right, three. I think we just take the second Clover. I mean, it's going to fall apart if we don't find any more of these Secret Keepers. But we got one moderately late. We got one eighth or ninth pick last time. We haven't seen any other ones. Runaway together is the better card. I think seeing as how we're forcing, I'm just gonna take this Clover. Charmed Sleep's a good card. So is um, this, but we're not 100% set on green yet. We aren't just, we just aren't seeing a whole lot. I don't like mono blue here. Prentice is good. Blows them down. Alright, I actually really like this card. Again, it's not a creature, which troubles me. This is a creature. Hmm. really good. All right, so we have a Runaway Together. It's a great card. We need this Secret Keeper. We haven't seen any in this pack. Uh, Well is really good. A second Apprentice is fine. I think well is better. Oh, it puts two. Take the well for the draw. Yeesh! It's getting sketchy, guys. Pack three will save us, says Twitch chat. Let's hope so, guys. I mean, we don't have very many playables, so... This mills people. We don't really need a one drop. This also mills... Let's just counter... We're just not gonna play spells. We'll just strictly mill their sh or counter their shit for five turns. Um... So Queen is pretty cool with the double Lucky Clover, right? This is also kind of cool with double Lucky Clover. We're most likely going to have an enchantment or artifact for this, but I think we can get them on the wheel. Yeah, I like Golden Egg too, but I don't think we can afford it right now. I think we need to have some, some dudes here. We, we need some dudes in the three and four drop slots. Because we're losing Witch and Electors, most likely. We're just looking real, real sketchy. And this does go well with the... I've seen someone play like 12 Secret Keepers on me, so if we only see the two, I'm gonna be really sad. And we took a clover over it, so it's not like we weren't trying. Although we ended up seeing another clover. <laughs> sort of punished. Um, and this is something that kind of kills people. 3-3 three, three flyer for 4. Hmm. Two, or a 2-2 two, two flyer. Makes me sad. You're heavy blue? Yeah, I know. It's just stat-wise, right? Like, we're used to seeing 3-2 flyers for 4 that are just three, always 3-2 three, flyers. So, I mean, it's got a little bit more downside than your typical uh, 
hard at this level. Sadly, I don't think we really have any other choices. It's really early to be taking this, I think. I'm worried about the bear suplex because we just don't have enough creatures that will make it worth it. Wolf's a good creature. We have plenty of counters. I mean, it's double green, which hurts, but I think it's a great creature to fill out, fill out our curve. And we have Questing Beast, so we're going to want to be pretty heavy in the green spells. Or green lands as well. Where are the merfolk? Come on! This is also fine top end. Super bummed, guys. We're not even going to want to run these Lucky Clovers. We have, like, nothing for them. Why? <laughs> Super bombed. All right, we're not hurting for creatures now, at least. I still. Oh. I've seen three eggs, and we didn't get a chance to pick one up. Is kind of sad. Down. Yeah, this is a good, uh, nice top end. It lets us get rid of the, like, um, the profit and works really well with Clover if we decide to go that route. Some ramp is not really necessary unless we take something like this. Because this is, like, we have pop out at like 1-5 drop essentially. Yeah, so someone's someone in Twitch chat saying I need I need uh, gas with my clover, but the thing is I'm considering not running the clover. That's the that's the tipping point we're at right now. Our two drop slots fine. We have a double double dude. And we're gonna take the tree. Hey. See, they go so late. I don't understand how I don't have them. <laughs> oh no, why? All right, the next one is our opening pack, so we're not going to see any of the of them, but we wield this, which is going to be a for sure bounce for us. Fine. I don't think we need this. Oh, I I was wrong. Wait a minute. 5 6 7 8 this was in our opening pack and we didn't take it? What did I take? I must be miscounting somehow. Maybe there was only... There's only 14 cards in this pack? Normally there's a land. There's no land in this set, right? Okay, that's why. Normally there's all 15 cards in... Uh, the last couple of sets. I think this one only has 14. That's why I was miscounting. Top right of the... Oh, pick nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncommon for vault value. Man, there, we had a, our last draft deck. I wanted fling so badly and couldn't find one. So bummed. Yeah, the freaking mana ramp wield, and we got the double tree folk. All right, now I feel good. All right, our creatures came together. Our merfolk didn't, but two, we have three. That's actually kind of cool. Three with two lucky charms. We're doing it, guys. Probably not running this or this. So getting back Cauldron and Witching Well is really nice with the, um, I think that's worth running this, right? I mean, 
this actually turned out pretty decent. I'm I'm happy with this. It was a long draft process, but I am pretty happy with this. Maybe we get rid of like the fierce witch stalker is like the double double green too greedy. Alright guys, what are the cuts? Run away together is great with this. Having three of these with the double lucky clover seems cool. I think maybe Apprentice might be overkill. The scry is nice. I just feel like we have a lot of stuff kind of... Cut questing beast to show mercy to your opponents. Oh no, no, no. I th we might cut the... The Fierce Witch Stalker. We can cut one of the merfolk dudes as well. I think that's good. You think the Paladin sucks? I don't like this card either. I think it's not great for its stats. It's not a good win condition. It's not blocking. It's not buying us time to mill. So I agree with that. But now that puts us to 14 creatures, we don't want to cut any more. I like the ramp. I like two twos. Although we don't really need them with these guys, right? Because we can just cast this on one, cast the second one on two. So maybe getting rid of one of these is fine. Giving us, we get to keep, oh, that's a creature though. Fuck, we don't really want to cut any more creatures. So tiny. Arm sleep counter, this thing, this thing. Wow, what is, what is people's obsession with tits today? Come on, Twitch chat. You guys are on the wrong site. There are, there are plenty of free porn sites for you. But I'm sure if you go upstairs and ask your mom, she'll show you hers. Also, you misspelled funny. Maybe this is too cute. Maybe, I don't know. It, it can't be too cute with this though, right? Don't say please seems really top three cards. That's not. Didn't say please feels really good with Into the Story. Rather cut Regrowth? William, you're getting your your work working tonight. I don't know what's what's going on with people in the, the boobs obsession. We haven't had this in a long time. Rather cut regrowth. I don't see a card with that name. 
What am I missing? Oh shoot, I didn't also- I don't think I have this up for you guys. Equals once and future. Interesting. Yeah, I don't- I'm not cutting- uh, we, this is exactly 40. I wasn't really gonna cut the two card draw mechanics. I mean, we have once and future, which is card draw mechanics. I actually really like this card a lot. Hey, Burger King! Thank you, thank you. You got a raffle ticket, my dear. And a pack for the drinking game on Friday. So, this is 40 cards, so we're missing like tree, which I'm fine with. Fine with that thing. We took out the didn't say please, which I was a little sad about, and also uh, a monitor, which I was a little sad about. 13 creatures seems light. But I think this is right. Pretty close. Let's give it a try. And seven. Feels weird when you've got two double casting green spells, but we don't have very many green cards, period. Oh, I was like, where's my other thing? I realized I'm on my alt account. We only have six cards. I'm gonna go 10-7. Feels really awkward, but... Uh, bands, I've done like... Five? Ish? Still really new to the format, for sure. Alright, we don't have the... Whatchamacallit? Hmm, we're on the play. This feels awkward. Can we hit a land, any land? I think keeping a two lander on the play with all of our plays seems fine. I mean, double- <laughs> two of our double green spells feels real bad. Ugh. We could just ignore- this. basically a mull down. We just need to hit three, though. We're gonna hit a land. I feel like we're gonna hit a land. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> so happy. So we get to play this at least. So we, we milled one of our merfolk, but we can get this guy back out. He has a pump spell, he can kill it, that's fine. Hmm. I mean, drawing a... a, a land there would have been a little greedy for sure.
So he's gonna get to make a lot of food. Not a lot we can do about it. Okay. It's fine. It takes all of his mana. We just have to hope he doesn't have a big payoff for food, right? want him to kill the seeker which is kind kind of cool if we draw the once card but i mean i also am happy to counter this so he can't get another creature i will decline i was happy if it was a pump spell i don't mind but I, it's worth the counter there just because it stops his turn and stops him from having another creature later. It's a good advantage. Land is pretty poopy of the non-green variety, but I mean, we knew that was coming, so... Wait. What happened to my dude? I did indeed decline. It asked if I wanted to counter a second spell and I declined. I think the copy countered the spell and the real fizzled. Then what did I decline? I feel like that was... You have to accept both? I don't think that's the way that is normally supposed to work. If he has another removal spell, I kind of want to bait it out with this. See how this goes. foods. And he's using them, that's nice. The original copy happened first, so regardless we are going to lose the flyer. I don't see how we lose the flyer is the problem. them on the questing beast. Your copy countered first, and then when it was time for the original to resolve, it fizzled. Interesting. So it, it was asking me to decline the original, is what happened? That's very complicated. So the the second version, the, the Lucky Charm version, resolved itself?
it's cauldron cycle time. It's not because um, we lost our our guy, right? He killed it with the um, the soul. trade the questing beast? I mean, yeah, I guess I am. I don't think you can get around losing the sprite. Maybe. That lets us get it back. I'm only concerned is that he has so many fucking cards. I didn't mill the card that lets me get things back, did I? During combat, we can trample over for some damage. As opposed to doing it after combat, right? Yeah, Captain, the deck master I was using was broken for a really long time too. I got I barely switched over. Oh no, he beat me to it. He's getting the death touch card. That's annoying. Plays the land. attack with this. Alright, we got one more folk. Or we can also try to get, or not try, but the card that lets us get the cards out of our yard. We've got tons of draw cards. Just flexing. I was asserting dominance by attacking him in the face with this. 04. And if he attacks with this, he, or he can sack a food, force us to block with this, and then pump it, and then we, you know, we can do that anyway. Or he can do that anyway, I should say. an opportunity to, to triple block the questing beast earlier. Can we stop drawing the land? For favor.
He has so many food tokens. Oh, can't be bought. God damn it. This thing has so much fucking text. I forgot about that. I remember the vigilance, the death touch, and the haste. Oh my god. Planeswalker thing. Oh my god. Thank you, slave. We missed an attack. I don't think I have a reason to keep this food, but... I guess this thing's probably worth killing with the questing beast. Hmm. If I bounce this to his hand, he can put more counters on this. That would suck. We can mill him for like 12 right now. Kind of cute. I actually don't think we're killing him with damage. But this also does just kind of mess with them for a few turns. So the, the first one it asked me to accept or decline was indeed the Lucky Clover trigger, which I declined. So that's, I really don't understand how we lost our other thing. That doesn't make a whole bunch of sense to me. I declined to change the target, that makes sense. So what happened is the first one resolves automatically, but it, the clover says you may says you may choose new targets, but there was no target, so the may ability didn't work. Okay, it's interesting. Our friend has five cards in his deck. So we've got a counter spell that mills him to death. We've got uh, a green card that brings both merfolk into our hands. Uh, we've got um, a third merfolk that we can draw that kills him. Holy crap, that was a lot of lands. This guy is gonna be ginormous. That's a real big boy. <laughs> That's so gross. <sighs> I mean, he still has all these, right? But that was fun. I can't believe we drew three islands off that. It's really sad. We only have 13 cards in our deck. Jeez. We have a counter spell that mills him to death. So we'll hit him for three. And he's only got four cards left. And then we've got another merfolk. And we've got another 
The green card that brings back the merfolk. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. There's five five lands left in the deck out of the 13. Oh, that's one of them. Bah humbug. Alright, so I think we just. I'm fine with this trade. He has to block it. Rather than him, him have a trick with the 5-5 five, five later to kill this or something. You have well too? I do have a well, yeah. That'll draw us into something, hopefully. <laughs> Gonna be pretty tough for them to win. I mean, they have a lot of cards in their hand. They're, and they're also playing black, which could put all their creatures back on top of their library, right? Like, that's a thing. It, we, you know, still kill them if we can hit one of the, the secret keepers. Oh my gosh, and it was indestructible, see? He, he can do a lot of damage. He didn't attack with this to prevent lethal on the crackback. Yay! We got there! What if I accidentally cast the wrong side of the spell? That would be great. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> that 710 was really funny. I guess we hold this. I guess there's no real reason to do it early. If he gets an aggressive start, maybe we should. Sorcery speed, right? Yeah. But we ended up drawing the clover the turn after, right? This ramp card will go a long way. All right, baby, show me a clover. Red Rover, Red Rover, send clover right over. Mill him for 16 cards. YouTube, you guys get copyright free music. You're missing some some sweet uh, bad company right now. Hmm. <sighs> Do we hold open the counter spell? Or do we try to activate this? I think I'm gonna hold open the counter spell for a turn. And then that way one of these will be able to activate. I think that's a better way. I feel like there's a reasonable chance he's just mono green here and there's gonna be a pump spell that's about to happen. That's a good counter, right? Because then he loses the creature as well. Oh, 
gosh. Sacrifice three foods. Oh my goodness. So we know he's got that. So we need to start pressuring his life total. I like the scry mechanic. Hang on one sec, guys. You can't double block. We got two uh, resubs, both five months from Loki and Charlie. Thank you guys so much. You got two packs for the drinking game and a raffle ticket each. I really appreciate that, guys. Ooh, he does have it. One mana. What just happened? So we're getting wrecked here. I thought he had one mana and this was oh this was untapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did have two mana. This is a sorcery speed. This is really scary. Oh no! Crap, he's got it now. From your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh god. Alright, this brings back the merfolk. That's sorcery speed. I'm not gonna play the other Murpho quite yet because I want we're gonna we're gonna freeze this guy down. We're gonna play this. We're gonna see if we can wait one turn for a lucky charm. We've drawn a ton of cards. Say one 
This actually will help a lot. It'll buy a lot of time. And then we're gonna chump off our merfolk. We can chump off a lot of things. This eats up a lot of trample damage. But we have four mil. We've gone through half our deck. Or one, yeah, we've gone through half our deck and haven't seen it yet, so hopefully soon. And Ice Queen also stalls us another turn, right, with these things? He has two of these? Didn't we counter one? Jeez, that's crazy. Seventeen cards, so we mill four. Goes to thirteen. We get two back. I really need the stinking. Whatchamacallit. But I guess if I cast this now, I can then wait a few more turns later. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's correct. Cards, uh, so they have 17 cards left. They still have a lot. I think, I think we wait one more turn, or maybe two, depending. We'll see how this so tiny goes. He's got this, which is a problem, right? Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. He's pretty wide. You can't interact with your plan? No, but we do need to draw the, the card, right? do it after we're gonna try to get him to blow his pump spell first on these and if he does we're probably just letting him die and then i think we so tiny this to keep our frosty but i'm also if she dies that's also not the worst target artifact. He still only kills one of the cards. There's nothing we can do about it. Did I pass priority? I was just trying to resolve. Okay, good. And even if he does throw a pump spell on it, um... I think that's still okay. With him casting this next turn, we actually might need to cast this. We can also get like one of them back in the wishing well, maybe. That'll make a pretty decent draw. Sleep's a great card.
Hmm, we can't play this guy. Yeah. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna sleep. We'll probably once and future and then sleep. Get back the well and the merfolk. Give us three draws out of 19 to hit two cards. Kind of a lot, right? Maybe we should have slept this. Probably fine. Oh my god, guys. Why did I think this was an instant? Oh, poop. It's an instant in a different set. <laughs> we can also get... Actually, we can get this back. Hmm, I actually didn't think about that. We can get, ooh, four. How much does that do? Three cards? So that would be eight, that'd be 11 cards? That's pretty close. So we'll see if he, if he plays a big spell, we'll go ahead and get the counter back and then the merfolk. This was, why did I think this was gonna die? That was a really dumb block. Create three one ones, huh? So we can play one of these. And then we're just saving out for one more charm. Yes, seven cards. 18 cards left in the deck, two charms. I feel like we got good shit out of here, guys. I dug real hard to get it. Believe in the heart of the cards. I mean, we're gonna have to. I can't believe I made that really bad block. Feels bad. This guy just dies for free. Block. Four. I think we do block here now, just because a pump spell and we're dead. They have, they have the, the, there is another pump 
the green one that eats a food token and gains five, and that would suck. This guy's gonna become untapped too. We're, we're, we might be dead. Hallelujah. Don't click the wrong side of the card. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this guy's so tilted right now. and a merfolk in my opening hand one time. Just the once. Hey, Brainiac, how's it going? I probably shouldn't have kept this. Two double blue spells. Alright, no more land, please. Indeed, on that mill plan. Now I wish I had played this. Oh, perfect. I mean, perfect in that I wish it wasn't the land, but it's fine ish. Hard. All right, guys, two cards down. Hey, thank you so much. If it's gonna be the other, it's gonna be the double adventure pump spell, this is gonna be such good value. He knows we have it. He knows. Thank you so much for the sub. Eight months of support. You got a raffle ticket. I have no creatures <laughs> is the problem.
Why do I keep milling this with her? That's tilting. <laughs> That's super tilting. Four non-land cards. Oh gosh, and both the cards that... Okay, that's okay. She can get them back. That's fine. Next turn. So we just need this to live one turn. All right. I take it back. That was fine. <laughs> don't fight. Please don't suplex my person. Please. Please. On your fingers. Why are there so many knights? For reals. We're gonna need all the mana we can get. So I think we blow up the knight making thing first. And then we can worry about drawing cards later. Maybe I should have just played this. No, I, I wasn't worried about the auto tapper. It wasn't the auto tapper's fault. I knew it was tapping badly, but I originally wasn't thinking about playing this. And then after I made the decision, I decided maybe I should play it. So that was on me. We can pump this twice. This lets us attack another time. I don't know. We pumped once. Yeah, we should have just played this. So why didn't he pump again? Is the question. Why did he not pump again? To mess with your head, or maybe he thinks he can only do it once. Got twenty three cards. Okay, he's got no cards in hand. Six, five, six, four, five, six. Hmm. I like trying.
trying to draw? Damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? We've got two double green creatures. We've got... Actually, I think that's probably more important to play. We'll get something back, and then we can play this to untap, have another blocker. We have two Merfolk Secret Keepers still in the deck. So now we can blow something up, tap her, get... We can jump with this. Next turn, tap her, get this back, tap her again, blow something up, get the cauldron back, all in the same turn. So we have a chumper and a removal spell. Ooh. It's pretty bad. That's real bad. We can get it back now and it has flash, so it's actually not that bad. Oh, it's an artifact, not an enchantment. Oops. Take five. Okay. So we have to cast this now to get this to work, right? A lot of land. Part three. He's on top deck mode. So if we cast Clover and this, all of our stuff gets huge. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, yeah. to go on to this just in case he removes one of them so that way we can always block this right i think that has to happen if he removes one then we just die to this hmm. interesting <laughs> Four creatures, four creatures. He's on top deck mode. He can draw an extra... Oh no, that's on on play, not on sack. Okay, so we can't draw an extra card. That's good. It's funny, we have actually drawn through more of our deck than he has. Between drawing four here, milling ourselves for three with the other card. Or four, four. With this card? I'm not sure. He's got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But he only has like two more lands.
If I blow up one of the one ones, it doesn't matter if I have this thing tapped, right? And then I just bring it back this turn and recast it. I think that's worth it. Double sack to kill it. We could have, I think this is fine. Cause we have three things that can block it. Like this can block it without dying. This can at least lock it down for two turns and this can trade with it. I'm fine with either of those things. And you can't do this. It doesn't go back to your hand, right? You only you may only cast it this turn. So I can, we get a little value for doing this rather than holding open the blocker to net the other one one essentially, right? And then if he has like a mass pump spell, we just get punished. I think this is fine. But he doesn't have his like two lands left in his 20 cards. So he's gonna be just drawing like just mono stuff. I'm actually at 13 cards, kind of funny. Rude. Now I think it's worth it. The funny thing is, is if he has a pump spell here, like, it doesn't actually, like, net him very much value. And we can actually do it again anyway, which is cute. Consider this board stabilized? I do, yeah. I'm still hesitant to attack. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what kind of hasty things there can be. I don't think there's much in green-white. I'm worried about a big trample is the problem. I don't know the cards in the format well enough. So I just, I simply just don't know what, what the options could be that they have. I'd, I'd say we got value out of this. What do you guys think? That thing's flying. Holy crap. So we get punished for the sacking of the things. For double sacking, I got punished for not holding it open. Wow. Ew! He blocks this, he takes 8, 9, 10, 11. Can't draw. Hmm. Yeah. That'll do it. A flyer plus locking this down in the same turn is, is, is pretty spicy. I want my merfolks. We have two merfolks in the bottom 11 cards. One of them wouldn't have been enough. We would have needed to draw two. This thing doesn't have reach, right? It's vigilance 
haste death touch. Even if he blocks poorly, he still doesn't die. <laughs> Even if he just doesn't block. Plus he has this. Card's good. Man, and we were doing such a good job keeping keeping that uh, that thing open on our turn. The removal spell. I wasn't really thinking that he would be able to play something that would be relevant for lethal that this could kill in addition to locking this down all in the same turn. That's a good game. Very good game. Started out really poor for us. Stabilized at three. I could have maybe pressured a little earlier, but... Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Please check the link down below for our sponsor, Card Kingdom. They help me out with making so much of this content. Also, a big thank you to everyone who has signed up for my Patreon. Without you, none of this content would be possible.